Today is the oldest I have ever been and the youngest I will ever be. As I put away my gear at the close of another year, I take time to reflect on memories made. It is easy to recall the highlights, but as I meditate deeper and deeper, I am reminded that it is the little moments that comprise the vast majority of the treasure of time. It is so easy to be enamored by the mountaintops, but it is the moments in between which create the most memories. Hunting gives each of us purpose while outdoors. However, being outdoors is treasure enough entirely by itself. Being outdoors is where inspiration is born. Hiking, biking, and backpacking are just a few of the things I enjoy doing outdoors, but after the season starts, I get the added excitement that hunting brings. Much of the thrill of hunting comes with the preparation and anticipation of the upcoming season. My mind's primary focus may be hunting, but I am always thinking like a conservationist, biologist, and archer. While organic free-range protein from animals can be nourishing to your body, the simplest of experiences while afield can be extremely nourishing for your senses and soul. Your well-being is enriched through the memories created in the wild each year. Hunt hard, strive for success, but just remember that there are numerous forms of success. Be successful at gleaning everything hunting has to offer you, not just the killing part. Tag soup tastes a lot better when you have the right perspectives. I know several people whose physical abilities have diminished over the years, and if you were to ask them, they would give anything to have another opportunity to head out into the wilderness under their own strength to experience one more encounter with their quarry. I'd venture to say that the success of the hunt would depend very little on the moment of the kill or the size of the animal. Large antlers, long beards, and big horns all make for good entertainment and usually come in conjunction with pursuing a mature animal. But never let them confuse you about the true success and fulfillment that comes with the hunt. If I view my hunting history as if killing trophies was the main goal, I find it quite ironic that the difference between my best season ever and my worst season ever boils down to a matter of mere inches and a few seconds. When you look at your season from a macro level, the true evaluation of success and failure should never be measured by seconds, inches, or even pride. I've had seasons filled with highs, and I've had seasons filled with lows, but regardless of the outcomes, they've all been successful in creating memories. I often wonder if there is any room for the ordinary anymore. The sights, sounds, textures, and smells are all ordinary but make for a fantastic experience. Don't take my word for it. Watch this film, watch other films like it, be inspired, but don't rest until you go out and experience it for yourself. Go to places that make you feel like no one else has ever been there before. Find yourself lost in places so beautiful they will forever live vibrantly in your mind. You can't alter time, but you can change how you spend it. Focus on the simple pleasures that comprise each day, because today is the oldest you've ever been and the youngest you will ever be.